Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza. Welcome to my channel, Sophie Stained Glass, a channel dedicated to spreading, widening the knowledge, the interest in architectural glass with a special focus on leaded glass. Today, I show you how I made this. It's a small piece, it's a gift. Beginning to end, you can follow me making this. Hopefully, you can um, pick, up, pick up a few tips along the way. So here's my little line drawing, my little design. There we go. I get asked quite a lot about whether you should trace the design onto your glass and then cut it, or whether you can just cut straight onto your design. I cut straight onto my design because I'm confident um, if it's an awkward shape, I will trace it because it's really helpful to be able to turn the glass around to get the cut right. So, I'm going to end up with a reverse design because obviously you have to cut with the smooth side of the glass up. But this is a symmetrical design, so it really doesn't matter. I just flip it over at the end. Now, this... I'm going to use the other pen better. This is a tricky shape to cut, so we'll just do a little focus in on how you cut this out. First. My grosers. Now the action for this is, is like this, but pulling at the same time. Now then, a little focus in on cutting out this shape. First thing you want to do is just take an easy bit off. Now you do lots of, can you see, yes, lots of concentric lines getting closer and closer to the actual cut line. I like to do the cut line, the actual cut line, just leave it be, because then if one of the other cuts runs, hopefully it will stop at that point. That's the theory, doesn't always work. You have to make sure you've got your glass positioned so that you can get all the way around without dislocating your wrist. So now, concentric lines. So that's the second one. The third one. I'm not following the things I just drew. That was just so that you could see what um, what I'm getting at here. So I'm going to drop the pieces directly into my dustpan. So like I said before, you're not just pulling and you're not just levering. It's both at the same time. Now, if you pull at both ends, you'll start to open it up at both ends. Okay. Nibble, nibble. This is the really vulnerable corner. And it's also awkward to get my grosers in. But there it is.
our design in place and I had to think about which was the best way to approach it and because I have to fit this shape in and it's smaller at the top and that bottom I turned it the other way up because it hopefully is going to be easier sometimes it's not always obvious which is going to be the best way to approach it but um, yeah just have a think before you set up and do your best So let's cut it longer than it needs to be and trim it in place. Again, we're going to cut it longer in case we decide to take the lead all the way round. First things first, one end at a time. just yet because we will get some of the other pieces in place first. then you take it all out again so that you can trim it. Right. And you put it in again. So there's a lot of in and out, in and out, shake it all about. Um, I hope you're all familiar with the okey, hooky pokey. Because that's what it's all about. Now then, I am going to trim this piece.
I went back to that one because I didn't like it. It was a bit of a, if the joint's a little bit dirty, you will find that you do not get quite such a nice um, joint. And with this uh, lead being of various ages, um, it's not the cleanest. It's clean enough. So now we do the cementing. This is very small. I'm not going to mix up cement for this. I'm going to use ready-made putty. And there it goes. Not sure how much I'll need. Uh, I always have putty in for when I'm putting windows in. Now. Eek. Bit of pigment I actually saw somebody spreading their whiting with a cloth on the internet oh no it wasn't the internet it was a video at the V&A and I thought well that's a sensible idea <laughs> It's done. Now, I'm going to take this out in a minute so I can oil the frame, but I just wanted to show the way you would put it in. Now, I'll, I'll do that in more detail another time. Um, I will just put a couple of dabs of adhesive to keep it in the right place. You probably can't see this very well. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. It's very subtle, it's very pretty, it's delicate, sweet. The colours complement. I just think it's a really nice piece. Um, it did present some challenges. Uh, I'd say it's not a complete beginner piece, it's more like a middling piece because of um, having to get all the bits in um, and get your angles right and curves are always more difficult, not just to cut but to lead as well. Um, so I hope that by doing that by doing a beginning to end on this piece um, you were able to see how I approached every little problem as I encountered it because you really have to just keep thinking as you go there's never two um, two windows or panels the same you always have to sort of go back to your basic principles and sometimes you try it one way and then you do it a different way um, yeah so thank you for watching um, there's loads of other videos that you can take a look at and hopefully you'll find what you need if you don't Drop me a message and um, it's probably up there, but there's quite a lot. <laughs> you maybe just can't find it. So yeah, please like, comment and subscribe.